here we are at Park City Television. They're doing stuff right now. And I'm about to go on with Julian Carr and Dr. Scholler talking about going big safely. Out there, uh, or is it just, you know, second nature now? You know, over the years being a professional skier, I've skied professionally since I was 17 years old, I've skied since I was two, and there's a lot of different things you go through. You know, you have to always be ready for the shot, you have to be ready for when the filmmaker's ready, ready on top of the course to go through. And what we're going to do tomorrow night at Snowbird, 6.30 at the Cliff Lodge, um, Jen Hudak and I are going to talk, Jen's going to talk about ski conditioning, how to get ready. I'm going to talk about more balance, how to balance your work life and your school and your skiing. And Julian's going to talk more about like safety stuff, what type of steps you can take to get ready to take on those steep lines. Because I think, you know, a lot of folks, especially this season, uh, you know, uh, a lot of folks probably were, were so overwhelmed by how quickly and how much snow we had early on, they didn't really get a chance to sort of ski themselves into shape uh, before, you know, they were they were hucking themselves off of uh, off of big stuff. Oh, yeah. And, you know, the last couple of years, I've actually been a part of the University of Utah Orthopedic Center ski conditioning class that uh, Dr. Scholl's wife actually runs. And it's just learning different techniques of how to get your knees strengthened and ready to go. So when you're, you know, ready for that pow day, that you can jump off that cliff or go off that jump, you know. A lot of people don't realize there's a lot of steps that, you know, gets you to where you are. It's not just skiing every day. There's a lot of things you have to do on the outside, too. I think everyone that goes to the hill, they have a certain thing they're looking for. They might be a guy that wants to go hit big jumps in the park or go in the backcountry. And, you know, you need to first look at what's on your feet, what kind of gear. And the type of gear you have these days enables you to get into spots maybe you couldn't before. But people need to, you know, reel it back a little bit and be like, hey, I know that I can get into these situations, but have I thought it through 100%? Is my skill set really there quite yet? Am I strong enough? And those are the type of things that we're going to try to stress and about, you know, checking with patrol about the backcountry, talking about avalanches, um, making sure that when you scout a line, you're looking at it realistically, baby steps, and just help these kids that have these amazing pieces of equipment on their feet just not get ahead of themselves, you know, so they end up seeing Mark. We want to avoid that. Right, because we do some wild things, and you know, when you only see that one picture of you know Julian doing a huge backflip off a cliff or a front flip, and then you see me going up the air on a hip, like there's definitely steps that have been taken to get there, and I think it's deceiving, you know, to the public because the public just sees it and they're like, oh, I can do that, and they go out and try it. But instead, we want to educate everyone that there are steps you need to take. I think us as professional skiers, we feel like a responsibility because we are out there, and that is our image is we're these BA skiers, you know what I mean? We're out there doing it, and we're trying, and because this is what we do for fun. And we know, because we go to the mountain every day at Snowbird, and we're like seeing all these kids there, and they want to have just as much fun as we're having. So we've gone through certain things, you know, because they might be younger, like 15, 16, 13, but they want to be jumping off cliffs, and they want to be in the movies. but. We've gone through different situations where we can teach them that maybe they don't have to go through it. They don't have to listen to us, but we at least want to try. <laughs> yeah, and as, yeah. as much as I love doing it, yeah. I love watching someone do it. Mm -hmm. You know, but the last thing I want to see is someone trying to do something that we're doing and get hurt. All yeah, right, so, so uh, Julian, give people the uh, the info uh, once again, the, the where, the when, and the who is going to be there. Tomorrow night, 6.30, Cliff Lodge. Do we know which banquet hall? It's uh, the banquet hall on the, the lower level. Yeah. In the Cliff Lodge. Just come in and start Just come on, there'll be signage. Yeah, where is it? Yeah. yeah, we'll find it. That's, and, uh, and who are some of the other, you know, uh, yourself, it's Greta? Me, Greta, Mark, uh, we got Jamie Pierre, Dash Long, Jen Hudak, Jeremy Novus, and Cody Barnhill. Cody Barnhill. Wow, that is, uh, that's that's quite a that's quite a list of you. I mean, even if you talk about nothing else, uh, that's, you know, that's a pretty good autograph <laughs> session uh, afterwards for, for a lot of folks. Yeah, it'll be fun to hang out with the kids and get some people excited. Fantastic. Guys, thanks so much for coming in and uh, have a great ad adventure tomorrow and stay safe out there in the backcountry. Thanks very much. Thanks. Baby, Nate kicks, all the marble K wrists. My women bring in tennis bracelets. Trips to Venice, get they winners replaced with. The sun, it ain't even fun no more. I'm jaded. Man, it's just a game, I just play it to play. I put my feet in the footprints left of me. Without saying the word, the ghetto's got a mental telepathy. Man, my brother hustles so naturally. Up next is me, and what perplexes me? Should I know how to?